Hello folks. This course is the MAT 129, Section C2. Uh, normally we will be meeting or having material on uh, Mondays and Thurs through Thursdays for Summer 1. Right. Basically what I'm going to do now is just uh, tell you where to look for information, uh, what to get specifically, uh, what to buy, and what to expect as far as the, uh, the conditions of the class. So with that in mind, uh, let me turn on my projector here, and I'll uh, sort of walk you through things. Okay, I'll adjust the light here. Ooh, spooky. Okay, uh, today is actually Sunday. This is, I'm doing, I uh, try to do pre-recording. Um, for Monday, I'm, do, I'm recording on Sunday, so still working on your canvas here. Okay. When you uh, first turn it on, here's the student view, naturally. This should pop up in your face first. Um, it's the syllabus page, really. If you are inclined to, all right, you can print out a copy of this by clicking on this link here. I'm going to sort of uh, refer to my printed copy in a moment. All, right. all of the basic information, the essential information, I should say, is in the syllabus. All right. Now, the way that I've made it, uh, realistically, there's just two pages that I would pay attention to. All right. The material that is between is a lot of formality. Uh, what's really pertinent is the very top page, right? because these are the materials and the grading uh, conditions. And the back of this is a copy of what's also posted on the front page of our Canvas, the actual schedule. Right. So let me start with this. Um, firstly, all right. We're Monday through Thursday for sure, right? Now, officially, we're scheduled for 9 uh, to 10.45. But because I'm pre-recording these, uh, these lessons, you don't have to get up at 9. I, I would prefer not to do that myself, all right? If all goes according to plan, I will try to make sure that the videos are available in that time frame. It is somewhat dependent upon the internet traffic, though, all right? So, um, worst case scenario, the video might be available for the day by 3 p.m. Okay, I'll try to give you a heads up about that ahead of time. All right. um, this is the textbook, Algebra Trigonometry by OpenStax. Were you to get a physical copy of it, which you're not obligated to, this is about 40 bucks. All right. um, the actual uh, textbook is free, it's an open source book. Right, and there's postings of it on Canvas. So I'm going to back for a moment and just show you something. If you dig a little bit, you'll get to something called Pages. And I tried to label it so that it's intuitive. Right. Here's the actual textbook. All right. Uh, if you wanted to print it out per chapter, they're PDF files. All right. We're doing uh, chapter two, three, the first section of four. All right. Uh, for one specifically, which is really the same information from three, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a little bit of ten. All right. Um, that's again, if you would prefer to actually print that. Uh, although, that's really just for reading, if you'd like, because the homework assignments are not taken from there, at least not anymore. All right. If you want to look at solutions to any of the textbook questions, all right. Here is a link. Right, to the actual online textbook with its reading and the answer keys are down here okay so if you need to if you're inclined to do extra problems you're welcome to take advantage of that okay anyhow let me go back to the syllabus for a moment please Okay. 
Okay, so that's our, our resource. What you are primarily going to be responsible for is the, the homework that is in this software that is also free. All right, it's known as My Open Math, MOM, right, for short. Um, the thing is, um, right now, I would prefer not to give you the information other than you could be aware of the web address. Like under normal circumstances, at least prior to the pandemic, what we would do is we'd give you a course ID, give you an enrollment key, you make an ID, and you could use the software online at that address. But it's kind of cumbersome. So plan A uh, for right now is that your My Open Math will be in Canvas. That way, any work that you do in My Open Math will automatically be inputted into your gradebook. Right? Well, I won't have to record it. That would save me some trouble. Right? I, it's contingent upon how well I can get these two things to synchronize, which I, at least as of, as of Sunday uh, evening right now, uh, it's, it's being a pain in the neck. Anyhow, plan B, which is something I would prefer not to do, is that uh, you do homework at this address. Right. And in that event, I would have to give you the course ID and the enrollment key, right? So I'm going to hesitate right now and not do that because, again, plan A is more practical. All right. Just be uh, patient, if you will. All right. um, your actual material will not begin until Tuesday anyway. Hopefully by tomorrow morning, uh, the uh, e-learning tech people will help me uh, synchronize these things. All right. What you really should buy as soon as possible is a good calculator. So here's an example of a graphing calculator that would be good to get, the TI-84 or 83, they're fine. All right. Uh, you don't have to get the plus or the silver edition. You can get an old one as long as it's functional. All right. Um, just a good graphing calculator because it's meant to spare you from having to do a lot of things by hand. Right? You don't have to reinvent the wheel. It is good um, to be able to do things by hand, right? and I'll point that out as the situation arises, but uh, to expedite things, we don't have to keep reinventing the wheel. So do buy a calculator as soon as possible. Right? Other than that, um, I would say for practical reasons, get a good notebook for notes. Right? Uh, get a separate notebook, maybe a mobile notebook for the homework that you do online, right? Yes, even in spite of the fact that it being online, how do you do calculations? You write them. So before you input anything, do the calculations by hand. Okay. Now here's the grading policy, right? Uh, these are the letter grades. as they would relate to an actual numerical score. This is the situation normally during a regular semester. All right. What I'm going to do, well, as you can see, all right, half of your grade is calculated from doing your homework, so it's really imperative that you do that. For the sake of the brevity of this class, which is that it's just a month and a half instead of maybe, two, uh, maybe three and a half months, all right, I'm going to give you this so um, you're not responsible for the test. All right? If you notice on the calendar, all right, whether you when you first come in on the front page, there's no test scheduled here other than the final exam on the last day, the 30th. All right? Why? Because there's not going to be a sufficient amount of time to do that. So um, I'm just going to give you credit for this, and you don't have to worry about it. All right? Insofar as the final is concerned, I'm going to, again, try to take my written exam and implement it, uh, integrate it into um, my open math, but that still hasn't happened yet, so we'll see. Worst case scenario, I'll give you a paper copy of it, okay? But don't even worry about that for right now, all right? What you really want to focus on, all right, later this week is getting started with your homework, all right? We haven't covered anything yet, so you're not responsible for anything. I know that you might have seen, ah, there's some due dates from 2018. You can't possibly be held accountable for that, all right? The due dates are not set because the software doesn't work yet. Okay? Here's proof. All right? If you were to, at this moment in time, go over to your assignments, you'd see a big pile of them, right? You might be intimidated. Don't be. You'd see, ah, intro to my open math. And you'll notice... It doesn't 
doesn't work. <laughs> so if you can't, if it doesn't work, that's not your fault. All right, don't worry about it. All right, there's a lot of bugs that have to be worked out between now and maybe Tuesday morning the earliest. So just don't sweat it, okay? Uh, no one could, you know, get mad at you. All right. Um, what I want to show you, it's not available right now, um, is where you would look normally. All right. Normally, like I said, I pre-record the lessons, all right, and I will post them all right, in announcements. So because the course hasn't begun yet, you can't get announcements technically. And I only posted this silly one just to give some kind of an example, but in student view, you wouldn't actually see it. So what will be available is the day and the date, all right, um, and then whatever the section is. All right, so hypothetically, all right, in announcements, you need to know what is going on, click there at some point on the day. Again, it doesn't have to be nine o'clock in the morning. All right. Here is the calendar. All right. Um, this is technically Sunday as I'm talking to you, as I'm recording, but the video that I'm doing right now, this will be available on Monday. All right, it's just an introduction. All right. And then there'll be another video available for section 2-1 on Tuesday and 2-2 on Wednesday and 2-5 on Thursday and so forth and so on. Okay. I try to keep it to one section per day as best I could. There are some cases where it's bunched up because the material is very similar here and there. Um, anyhow, if you want to know what the actual numbers correlate to, they're the section numbers that would be in the textbook. All right. Uh, you could look again in the syllabus if you want to see what the specific title of the topic is. Right? That's uh, buried deep. Right, so here, All right, section two one for us will be uh, the distance midpoint and circle formula. Right? Formulae, formulas. All right, and two two will be solving equations. Okay, so. Easier to just write the numerical uh, label, if you will, 2.1, 2.2, on those respective days. All right. and this is the whole slew of material by the end of the semester. All right. Again, as I said, if you print this, that's cool. All right. um, but the way that I made it is the only two pieces of paper that would be good. Sorry, I have to be creepy. Yeah. All right. Um, the only two pieces of paper that I would pay attention to are this page and the back page. Okay, this will let this is a map of where we will where we will be on the particular day. All right, and these are the basic conditions. Again, you're primarily responsible for your homework. So as soon as that gets up and running, you know, hit the round run, uh, hit the ground running. Okay, but that's you know contingent upon me getting it functional. So don't sweat. All right, uh, let me turn this off. I think that's basically it. If you want to, you know, sort of like uh, swoop around, you're welcome to. Um, I have in pages some diagrams that I make. The norm for me is, in addition to the video that is the actual topic of the day, um, I make diagrams that if we were in person, I would give them to you. Since we're on remote instruction again, um, I will link uh, the PDFs that you can print. All right, so again, if you want to you know, sort of snoop around a little bit, if you clicked on chapter two, there's a bunch of stuff that I got to reorganize. There's chapter two, all right. Has all of these PDFs, all right. I want to reorganize them so that they're by section number, not just the pile, all right. I had some things highlighted here from a couple of semesters ago because uh, they were new at that point, but um, uh, some things that might be handy to print out would be uh, an actual coordinate plane, you know, with the axes drawn, so that you don't have to, you don't have to, you know, draw it every single time. And I would do something like this, this by hand initially to get you a stronger um, intuition for it. Right then, eventually, uh, we can gravitate to using a calculator. Uh, to do the equivalent, okay? We can take advantage at that point, all right? Anyhow, so two places you're going to be looking regularly, announcements and maybe pages, 
okay? And then your grades, when they finally get there, okay? So don't sweat, you're, you're, in, a, you're in a safe space, all right? All right, I'll turn this off to spare the bulb here. And that's it, all right. Um, like I said, all right, we're not gonna be meeting at nine. I don't like getting up early if I don't have to. Um, you could watch the videos during the day as they're available, you know, in your own time, all right? And they're on, they're gonna be on YouTube, so you can watch them whenever you want. You could freeze them and keep them if you want. Okay, all right, I will see you again on Tuesday. All right, take care and be careful out there.